Yes, people, come back to West Ham. An official hope you are all well as we embark on our international break from club football. We're taking this opportunity once again to head over uh, and watch some non league football. It's a local derby tonight. Tuesday night football under the lights. It's Gillingham versus Wincat. And just for context, uh, these sides are relatively close geographically together. So they should be interesting tonight. So we're going to get over to Gillingham and away game today. Uh, and hopefully uh, we'll see a good game and a Wincanton win. Gillingham 18th, Wincanton 4th. So we're favourites, but of course you never know. Uh, so far as you, let's get over there. Come on, you wasps. How's that? How you doing, mate? You all right? Here we go, then, at the fourth or fifth time of asking for this fixture. It looks like we're about to get underway. Weather has stopped it. It's raining now, but it looks like we're going to get on with it. It's Wincanton versus Ginningham versus Wincanton, I should say. And let's get the kick off. The scrappy start, 10 minutes in, no side really uh, putting their authority onto the game. Uh, very scrappy, 10 minutes gone. Uh, hopefully, we can uh, put our stamp on this. 0 0. Twenty minutes gone here at Gilling and Wincat and just starting to come into the little, uh, game a little bit more. It's scrappy at the start and uh, just beginning to get our clutch hold on this here. Uh, but let's capitalise. Twenty minutes gone, nil nil. And it's 1 0 to win count and 25 minutes gone ish, I think. And listen, you need a slice of luck sometimes, don't you? If you don't shoot, you don't score. 1 0 to win Canton. That's what we needed, just that um, just that impetus there uh, to really push on uh, and get into the game further. Was there, uh, and we've got a goal to show for it. Getting them nil, win Canton 1. Just under half an hour gone. Wincanton just getting dominance of this now. All the chances, all the ball. Uh, one goal up there, one uh, to kill this off here. It's 1-0. Uh, it's about 35 minutes gone. Let's keep this pressure on uh, and let's try and get a second. Just on the stroke of half time, we can't and double their lead. It's deserved as well, there's no doubt about it. A ball was played across the field, and it's a brilliant finish into the back of the net. It's going to be a win. Canton 2, perfect on the score, and to double our advantage, 2 0 here at Woodwater Lane. Get in. Half time. <laughs> 
Half time here at Woodwater Lane. It's Gillingham Neil, Wing Canton 2, and we've got the lead uh, in the derby. Uh, listen, deflected goal from uh, Gary Chapman inside half an hour. Um, and if you don't shoot, you don't score. And overall, from the balance of play, first 15 minutes was a really edgy affair, and, uh, and Gillingham had a better. But from that moment on, really, um, Wing Canton have asserted their authority on this quite nicely and, uh, and got the second just before the break. Uh, a really, really well um, taken goal uh, from Tomo to get the second second goal uh, and to really put some headway between the two sides uh, we're hoping we can wrap things up with maybe another just to properly seal the deal half time here two nil to win canton here with a familiar face at half time hello mate you're right yeah not too bad mate you yeah. what'd you make of that then first half tuning up yes yeah, good little battle i think getting them out of go at us in the first 20 minutes yeah and yeah so we didn't concede that was the main thing and then we um yeah got one maybe a bit fortunate goal but the second one was a quality finish and mm -hmm. i think we just about deserved it to be honest absolutely let's get to the second half come on then. cheers mike and here comes the second half And inside a couple of minutes of the second half, getting underway has come from a Gillingham corner. Actually, a blistering counter attack, leaving a couple of men uh, up front made the difference there. A couple of brilliant uh, balls over the top, and a great finish from Connor. And it's three 0 to win Canton in complete control here in the derby. And all of a sudden, it's slightly interesting again. It's a brilliant goal. That a fantastic turn and brilliant finish. Keeper, no chance. Gillingham back in with a sniff. Gillingham one, a win Canton three. Well, they've scored again to make this really interesting. They're getting them two, Wing Canton three. Game on. And in the wise words of uh, the Wing Canton manager, the only person in the ground to not see. It was a foul in the build up there, I thought it was. We're quite a way away, but uh, look, that's gone now. Got to wake up here. Uh, they're just to go in this now. All of a sudden, this game was reignited. Got to get control of this again. Getting them two, Wing Canton three. <laughs> and they've leveled things up 3-3 three, three. we done that oh dear it's three apiece and very interesting you've got to say you know they've deserved to get back into this here because second half Apart from the first five minutes, Wing Canton have struggled massively. Uh, they brought a foul down here in the corner and scored from it. It's a good goal. <sighs> Three apiece. Wing Canton not happy, and rightly so. But we'll see what happens in the final stages here. This has been a hell of a derby, this. Go on, go on, go on. Oh, unlucky, unlucky. Dear. I'll tell you what, I don't like, I don't like to criticise referees too much, but he's been abysmal tonight. He's been absolutely abysmal. Um, yeah, not helped our cause at all. No, no, no. Oh my oh, god. Oh my I tell you what, god. we moan about referees and VAR in the Premier League, but Jesus Christ. He's just sent him off for a second booking when he clattered him in the box and sent him off for diving. It's an ice rink out there anyway. You can't even stand up. Oh start. my god. I tell you what, this has just been ridiculous. Go on! Oh no, no, no. It's a really good chance towards the end there from the set piece. Any contact and it's in. <sighs> Can't be many minutes left here. 3-3. Three, three. Hit him. Shoot. Go on. Oh. It's got to be a corner. Oh. Oh. Rob. Go on, go on. Go on. You've got him, you've got him. Yeah! Come on, Rick! 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 Come on,
<laughs> and it's right at the end, right at the end, it's the winner. We've been denied multiple opportunities here. Come on. <laughs> Well, I don't really know where to start with that, to be totally honest. Just got home. Um, I want to know who was writing that script, to be totally honest. Um, I didn't capture uh, the last minute winner fantastically at the end. But honestly, the scenes there uh, deserved as well. Absolutely deserved from the boys. You know, didn't give up. We're 3-0 up. We're pegged back to 3-3 free free, um, with a helping hand along the way uh, from the referee. And then to get that last minute winner at the end was just, it was justice, if we're being totally honest. Uh, it was deserved uh, and just shows the grit and determination of these group of lads. Superb. Um, you know, didn't give up uh, towards the end, you know heads could have dropped uh, with everything that went on um, in the game but they didn't they kept on going uh, and just that you know streetwise game management towards the end as well and just knowing what to do uh, paid off massively uh, and it's a huge three points you know moves us up the table a bit more and just keeps that momentum uh, going on because lots of lots of sides would have lost that at the end there and we didn't we stuck in uh, and we got the three points it's massive absolutely massive and that was a seven goal thriller local derby that is uh, for sure. It had everything, red cards, refereeing decisions, brilliant goals, uh, deflected goal in there um, as well. So plenty to digest. If you've enjoyed this vlog, drop a like on it, subscribe to West Ham. Unofficial if you are new. Oh, without further ado, that's me done. I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm knackered after watching that. The ones are the lads that played. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.